Here is the map with the deployment of Scenario 1, which is in fact the same as the campaign scenario. The date is February 21st, 1916, and the Germans are about to attack. Let us see the basic elements of the game. The cards are treated in a separate tutorial. Verdun is a game with zones. Units are simply represented by wooden counters, which represent about a brigade. A standing counter is at full strength. A counter lying down is exhausted. The campaign game is played in six turns. Each turn, except the first, represents two months. During each month the players will take turns playing seven rounds, with a hand of eight cards. Victory can be won automatically by the German, if Verdun is taken or surrounded. Also, the game is won, if the German accumulates more than 50 victory points, at the end of a turn. Otherwise, the winner is determined by points according to the scenario. Reinforcements are not predetermined. Victory points are earned by forcing the opponent to bring in reinforcements, but also by playing certain scoring cards, or occupying certain areas of the map. Scoring cards simulate the impact of other theaters of operation. You will often have to make choices between playing on the board, or investing your resources elsewhere. Let's go back to the game board. There you will find the game turn track. The heirs appear you already track to indicate who benefits from air support. For each player, here the French one, a reserve of trench pawns, and the off-map areas indicating the reserves on the way, and the available reserves. On the other side, three types of tracks. The round count track, there are seven rounds each month, where players can use their cards in turn. The front morale track, morale drops with each friendly unit eliminated and rises with each friendly unit entering the map. The victory point track, this is a track, where the marker evolves towards 50 when the German scores victory points, and drops to minus 15 when the French score.